So I shaved my beard Sunday, day after trek, and I miss it. I had a ton of people tell me, you look so young. And I had shaved it right before church, and when I got to church, everybody was like, you look so young. Who is this man in here? Tell them what Sweden looks like. <laughs> We're doing the forecast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good to see the kids playing together. Sort of. So tonight, for dinner, we're having brownies. That's all we're having. Chocolate brownies. So good. Just kidding. So lately, I'm really craving steak. So we bought some New York strip steaks at Winco. If you guys haven't been to Winco yet, Winco is so good and awesome. And then I cook my potatoes Woo! in the crock pot. So, baked potatoes, brownies, steak. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I gotta change the uh, gas the tank because we ran out of gas in the barbecue and I have an extra tank out in the garage so I'm gonna change that right now oh yes I am oh yes I am so lately my schedule has been kind of crazy um, I've been working fire watch at the airport and my hours have been midnight or four o'clock in the afternoon to midnight so I haven't been home lately uh, in the evenings to see the kiddos and to help with bedtime so today is Wednesday and I have the day off and it's been nice to be home during the evening and see the kiddos I haven't seen Sam because he gets home from work from school right about three o'clock and I leave for work about 2 30 to get to uh, Firewatch so uh, I haven't seen him and when I come home at midnight, or by then it's about 1 o'clock in the morning, I, uh, he's already asleep, so I don't get to interact with him. So, um, I need to go help the kids. They're having a trampoline malfunction. Be right back. Do you guys know any killer tricks? That's a killer trick. I used to do it. Do a flip yeah. for us, bro. Yeah. It's too hard for me. It's too hard. Yeah, you can do it. I don't practice it. That's why it got too hard. Let's do it again. Practice. What do you get the edge? Are you getting in there? I like your smile. You're cute. Yeah. Can I eat your face? No. Why not? Yes. My back is your back. Stop it. Is your back is stop it? Yes. Can I eat your back? No. Oh. Can I take a bite? No. I just want to eat this right there. Ow. I just want to eat it. Please eat it. Please eat it. Lick what? It's a camera. <laughs> it's a camera. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. It's sunny. It's probably what, 60 degrees? I don't need this sweater on. I don't need it. Just. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So nice. Oh, what's that? Daddy. What's that there? Tomorrow. What's that down there? What's that? What? It's up tomorrow. First day of spring. Tomorrow's the first day of spring? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. That is true. It is feeling more spring-like, isn't it? 
with your springiness. Let's celebrate spring by springing on the spring device. The spring device trampoline. Spring is the funnest, right? Yeah. Summer's pretty fun though too. Yeah, so we can swim in the pool. We can swim. We can go hiking, go camping. What else? What else do we do on summer? Yeah. We go, go to, to the, the beach. beach. What beach do we go to? The one that we just go to go um, to the Packers. California. The beach we went to the Packers? Yeah. That's uh, I we, think in Little Elm. Uh, we go to the one in Little Elm. The Little Elm Beach. So there's this lake. I haven't been out there or to the beach. But Christy took the kids last summer with the Packers from another ward. And uh. I guess it was really cool. They said it's like sand beach. There's like a place for the kids to swim, and I don't know if there was or not. But I think there was a, a lifeguard on duty, which would be nice, so you don't have to worry about the kids so much. Guys, check out our garden. It's so nasty. That is probably dead. These are tomatoes from last season that I need to rip out. Definitely dead. That right here, that's an old kale bush. Dead. More tomatoes, weeds, weeds, mint bush, dead. This is uh, sage, mm, or I mean rosemary. Probably good. These things are good. These things are robust. This is a uh, uh, Texas sage right here. This will come back. Bounce back. This right here is good. This is my prize possession. This is a Rose of Sharon and it's grown about triple its size when we first put it Daddy. in. It's really cool. Um I looked um through a hole and I said, Hey Max, and then Max was like, Hey Max. <laughs> <laughs> That's a silly Max. Another Texas sage, two plants I can't remember the name of, one shrub I can't remember the name of, and another Texas sage. Sam, what are you doing? Going to water the plants. What? Going to water the plants. Which ones are you watering? <coughs> um. Let me tell you the ones you need to water. Okay. That one in the corner. Okay. And then the two big ones by it. This is our rain bucket. So what I've done is right here, off the gutter, just one gutter, I cut it and then I attached this uh, little tube here which is just meant to catch rainwater and kind of disperse it. And then I got this bucket, 55 gallon bucket. I cut a hole on the top, put a screen on it and put some glue so it would stay on. I think the glue I used, uh, uh, like goo, special goo or something like that, and it's it's held up really nice. There's a little bit of a hole in the screen, but I think that'll it'll hold up for another season. And then I just kind of situate it to where when the rain falls down, falls right in. And we have water all the way to the top because we had rain the other day. And then a spigot down at the very bottom. I just drilled a hole. I uh, used some pipe to put that in there. And then I got this spigot here. And it comes out. Comes out just like fresh water. But it ain't fresh. That's not fresh, buddy. Let's leave it off. K okay, Max? Off. So it doesn't get wet. Muddy. And look at all these broken bricks. Who would have done that? You're just breaking everything that I have. Everything I buy, you just break, right? Because I like, I like destroying things. You like destroying things? What if I destroy you, you punk? What if I destroy you? Yeah! I'm gonna destroy you! That was fun. So, right now, our yard is pretty nasty because of the winter. We just haven't come out here very much. It's been a cold winter. The sandbox is destroyed. The shade 
I had a cool shade awning over it and the winter we had a couple of uh, frozen storms come through because Elsa was mad at us and Elsa raged her storm on to North Texas and that thing fell down because of the ice. It was too heavy. It could not bear the load. And the sandbox is filled with weeds. Weeds, yeah, I know. Nasty weeds. What? Careful. Look, this is destroyed. I know, lots of our stuff is destroyed. Yeah. So let me tell you guys. Over here, we did, the last few years, we did these container gardens. And we would do tomatoes, peppers, some squash. Uh, the peppers did really good. The uh, peppers always do really good in Texas. And then right here, in this one, I have boysenberry bush from my grandpa's yard, which started out in Thousand Oaks, California, where they lived for many, many years while he was a pilot with Delta and Western Airlines. So we took, they took some starts from that boysenberry bush and took them to St. George, Utah, where they lived for another, I think, 20 years, 25 years during retirement. And my grandpa just recently passed away last November. So a couple years ago when we were visiting them, I took a start of boysenberry bushes and I was able to save this one. So we have one ready to go. And it bore some fruit last year, not very much. But my goal is to transplant it and put it over there. Probably next to where that where those tomatoes were. So hopefully in a couple of years we can have lots of boysenberry bushes and be big and uh, we can enjoy those berries for generations to come. Anyways, you guys are crazy. Your kids are crazy. No, daddy crazy. No, you crazy. Addy, you crazy. <laughs> My favorite part of Addy. Will you give me a big smile, Addy, so we can show everybody your smile? My favorite part of Addy's smile is that little dimple right there. It's so cute. Whoop, there's another dimple. <laughs> Alright, so I'm telling the kids to clean up the backyard. Guys, make sure you clean up the yard, okay? Anything that's colorful, plastic, and made in China, bring it over here and put it in the toy bucket. Got it? Okay, so I put some foil down, kind of curled around the edges so everything stays in. You know what you do? You just put it on there. Just stick it on there. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty yeah. neat, huh? That's squash and broccoli. Squash oh. and broccoli. And it's gonna go okay. So I turn on the oven to about 350. 350. And then I, I roast them. Oh yes, I do. I roast them. Take my wooden spoon out. Okay. And it's gonna be yummy. Is it gonna be yummy, guys? Are you excited? Yeah. For broccoli and squash. Your real lips are getting red. Yeah, because they have a block. Because they have a um. Chapstick. Chap, chap yeah. lips. Guess what I have? I have chapstick. This is candy cane chapstick. I'm try. That feel good. I'm try. Gotta keep them loose. Gotta keep them lips nice and pretty. Let's just get all of our germs mixed together. Okay. Don't touch your lips, okay? Okay. And make it feel better. You guys are so beautiful. Did you know that? You kids are so beautiful. New clean socks. Why did you change socks? Because my other ones were grassy and muddy. Grassy and muddy. 
and you took your socks off like a good little girl. Yeah. Don't touch your lips. You little. But it's so hot. I know. You gotta let the chapstick do its work. You gotta let the chapstick work its Zero little magic. Me. Work its magic that it does. We love I chapstick in this house. We probably have like five or six rolls or tubes everywhere. And my dad was almost gonna. What? Turn me into fire with that! Turn you into fire? No, I wasn't gonna burn Send me you. Send fire. All right, you guys almost ready to grill some steaks? Uh, okay. We got some New York strips that we bought at Winco. Winco? What's Winco? You know. You were with us yesterday when you went there. It's a store. Remember There's with all those buckets? One. Buckets of candy? Uh, yesterday? Yep. I love you. That was for you, Grandma. <laughs> so I was uh, sitting in the kitchen and I was looking at my son on the couch, who I'll show you in a minute. But I was uh, contemplating when I was his age, when I was two years old, would I ever just sit on the couch in front of a screen? And I don't think we did. As kids, back when I was young, we didn't have, we have TVs and stuff. I don't think we ever just sat there and played a game. So look, my son's over here. What are you doing, Max? Oh, you have an old iPhone. Yeah. And you're just playing games. Just playing games, see? I don't think I ever did that as a kid. Which is crazy to think about. Playing, we were outside. We were inside making things with whatever toys we had, uh, maybe watching a movie or something. You know, I guess we watched a lot of movies on, on TV, but, but to have all the, look at that. He turns it up, puts it on his ear, and listens to the crazy music. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you shy? You're being shy. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> you crazy kid. You crazy kid. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> I'm happy. Go get ya. Go get ya. What are you doing with that phone? Are you entertaining yourself? I'm not gonna lie. When he's being crazy, or trying to get dinner ready, give him the phone, he sits on the couch, and he's entertained. So, I guess this, that's the life we live right now. Smell-o-vision, where are you? There it is, guys. You know your steak's good when it's hanging off the plate. So yummy, guys. Baked potato with the fixings. And I recommend this little guy right here. Aloe gel water. It's called Aloe Cure Juice with Pulp Zero. Got it at Winco. Has little chunks of aloe in there and it tastes yummy. It's grape flavor. Oh, it is. Um, kind of good. Interesting. They say aloe is good for you. Mom, you excited for some steaky steak? Delicioso. Kids like it. <laughs> Sam, you like it? Mm-hmm. It's good. Are you a meat eater? <laughs> <laughs> Max, is that yummy? A little bit. Addy, you like it? Michaela, you like it? <laughs> and dinner wouldn't be complete without a little Cholula with the organic wooden tap. Enjoy your meal. Bye.
some technical camera skills here. So back when I started skateboarding, I guess it was probably like, maybe like 10, 11, 12, the like quintessential trick that you learned was an ollie. And then, which is this, <laughs> which I'm getting old now, I'm almost 34, but that was like the awesomest trick you could do. If you could do an ollie, then you were like officially a skateboarder. And then the next trick for me was like ollieing up onto a curb and then continuing to ride. It was the next awesome trick. <laughs> and then after that, it was like kick flips, where you do an ollie but you're flipping your board around. And you could do all those? Uh huh. Wow. Not very good, but I remember when I was super good, like one summer, Barry Nugent was just one of my best friends. We skateboarded all the time. And uh, we would ollie jump over trash cans, not like standing up and laying down. So That's they would be good. like, you know, a good 24 inches off the ground. And then we would skate at Churchill, my high school. And there was this big rock that was in the center in the courtyard. And that was probably like two and a half feet off the ground. So we'd ollie on and off of that. It was so much fun. That's awesome. Were there any skate parts that you frequented? Uh, not really. Not in Eugene at the time. Eugene, Oregon, where I grew up. But now, uh, how long have you had this bad boy? Uh, this thing I've had forever. <laughs> Is that the one that you got at Christmas when Dad had to go and no and buy you a new one? Yeah. So when I was like six years old, my brother got a skateboard for Christmas, and I was just like looking at it the whole time. I love skateboards. And oh, my I dad thought didn't that get... you mistaken it for yours. No, my dad didn't get me one. And so my dad was like looking over at my mom going, crap, we didn't get him a skateboard. <laughs> so he like left while we're opening presents and found a skateboard like at a convenience shop or something. <laughs> it was a California. A Christmas day. <laughs> we live in California. I'm sure they had skateboards everywhere. That is and, so funny. Uh, so yeah, Christmas day. And then he shoved it under the couch when he walked in. And he's like, that was my first skateboard. So this one you're holding now, did you buy that with your own money? This one I've had from since, since Eugene, man. I, I mean, I, went, I probably went through a handful of boards. But this was just a blank deck. And then I got uh, these Venture trucks and these wheels. I mean, these are old it's from when I was in high school. So. Cool love. deal. Party time. Go Whee! home. This is the express. The PP Express.